Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another acne video, but today is actually a good one because I'm talking about something that's actually been working for my skin, like, 100%. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain. Um, so let's just get into it. You've already read the title, you already know what product this is about. It's about Differin. So, a little background in case you don't know. Differin used to be a prescription only uh, medicine, like a topical medicine. This isn't something you consume. I mean, obviously it's in a tube. Um, but I, I mentioned that just because like my previous video was like on spironolactone, or I guess previous videos, um, which is something I used to take. No longer on that. Don't plan on going back on that. Um, you can watch those videos if you're curious as to why. Um, anyways, this guy though, you can buy this guy at like Target, you can buy it at like the drugstore, you can buy it at Walmart, like you don't need a prescription, and it actually works. First off, yes, I'm wearing makeup right now. I got home from work, and I just, like, I haven't filmed, and I need to force myself to film, so I'm like, whatever, we'll just take it off while we're filming or something. I'm like looking around, because I have my cellar water somewhere. And as you can tell, like, I'm not wearing really full coverage makeup right now, so it's not like this is, it's not like this is even, like, <laughs> you can still kind of see what's going on with my face. I'm gonna leave my under eyes on because whatever. <laughs> Actually, I didn't put makeup on my nose. I don't know why I'm wiping that. I didn't really put much on my forehead either, but this is my skin now. Um, I look a little bit red just because I think from like wiping it off, but I'm usually not this red. Point is though, is my skin has cleared up significantly. Um, I'll insert some photos if I still have them saved of like when my skin was at its worst. Yeah, <laughs> this product has literally changed my life. I cannot even express like just how great <laughs> it's been like I don't even I don't even know how to explain so let me just start by saying I tried this product before and I absolutely hated it and it is because I was using it wrong and I will explain in a second but basically when I first used this though my skin dried up so much like my eyelids even dried up everything and I was peeling and cracked for literally a week just from one use one use so since then, I was I really wanted to try it because like I had been hearing that it's so amazing and you know oh it used to be prescription so I was like thinking okay it's got to be good that means it used to be prescribed by doctors for acne this has to be something worth looking into so I finally was like searching up actual videos on it I found a video from a channel that I highly recommend you check out if you are curious about anything skincare um, and that is Dr. Dre um, Andrea she is a dermatologist in Texas and she is awesome she's a great resource for just like learning about like skincare products like what's in them and um, she did a video on different and how to actually use it and I watched that oh my god it changed it literally changed my life now that I've learned how to use it um, I see the biggest difference in the world. Yes, I do still break out. And also, I would just like to mention, my period is like about to happen, so this is like when I break out the most, and this is my face right now. That's crazy to me. Like, I know some of you guys with perfect skin are probably like, mm, yeah, well, it's not great. I'm like, no, it's not, but this is a million times better than what it used to be. Different is a retinoid cream, so it exfoliates basically the skin cells. Um, so you have a really high skin cell turnover rate or something. I don't know the specifics. Check out that channel that I mentioned. Um, but because of that, you do have to like wear SPF and stuff like that, just so that way you don't damage your skin further. Um, but yeah, I think the biggest thing that helped with me using Different was changing out like my entire skincare and now I use only, pretty much only CeraVe products. Um, and to be honest, I'm not really happy about that because they are not cruelty free. However, it was recommended to me from a dermatologist and also through Andrea's channel. So um, I like how I'm just casually mentioning her name as if I know her. Anyways, I feel fine using it as like a treatment, but I want to find an alternative. So I got to be on the lookout, but Let's get into it, I guess. Um, I always kind of explain what products I'm using at the time, but this stuff is like actually working. So like throw out everything I ever said before, except for maybe that one Murad product. What was it like the acne thing? That thing actually did help. But so I think the most important thing is that I didn't know is moisturizing before you use different. Literally that is a game changer. So I used to use it the way that like, um, I feel like a lot of us are like taught 
to learn to do skincare where it's like you wash your face, you let your face dry, and then you go in with like your your toner or your treatment and then you go and moisturize. This you wanna go kind of the other direction. You wanna wash your face, immediately moisturize so you have as much like water in your face, if that makes sense. Um, and then go in once your skin is dry and use different. So for nighttime, it honestly depends on like how my face is feeling that day, which moisturizer I'll use. I'm currently using the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream, but I also sometimes switch out with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, which I also use on my body. This is safe to use on your face. Both of these have ceramides, which are really good for the skin. Um, I'm not really gonna go into details about that, but anyways, I use either of these ones. It honestly just depends. This one's a little bit thicker. This one's a little bit thinner. They have an actual PM cream that you can get that's like for the face. I didn't buy it because I didn't think it was... I thought it was going to be really thin like in for like really oily skin for whatever reason. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak on that. And then crucial, very crucial step is you have to kind of like oil up, like grease up your... Like around your eyes, around your nose, and around your mouth. So I don't have the packaging for it because this... Literally, my mom was like packing this for a trip and she didn't want to, she was going to throw this out. So I was like, just give it to me. And I've literally had this for two months. Anyways, this is the CeraVe healing ointment, I believe. Um, it's basically like Vaseline, but with like hyaluronic acid and ceramides. So I put this around my mouth, my nose, and my eyes before I use Differin. So moisturizer on, that on, and then I use Differin. Yeah, I use it at night only because it will just exfoliate your skin cells. Like, you don't want to do that during the day. Sometimes I still do use my um, Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Anti-Aging one that I love um, around my eyes specifically. And actually, like, uh, maybe like a week ago, I developed a sunburn on my face. And I'll talk about that in a second. Sunburns. <laughs> that is something that can happen. So since Differin does kind of, like, cause your skin to be brought to the surface, I guess you could say, um, I, I really, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know the correct terms. I've heard them, but I'm very terrible at repeating them. So, um, but your skin is going to be like very frail, not frail. I don't know. It's very, very sensitive to sunlight. I mean, your skin already is, but it's even more so. So if you are using different, if you're using like a retinoid product like this, you absolutely need to use like SPF. There's no way around it. Um, you will burn your face as I learned on accident by the way I always wear SPF with this because like I know this could happen and it happened anyway So, um, I think I probably just like forgot to put it on that day or something anyways Um, I literally developed like you see how my hair is sitting right now. I had a sunburn Right there. It's not really noticeable anymore. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty much gone but just be aware that that can happen. Um, so always wear your sunscreen. Um, I use, as of right now, the CeraVe, but um, I was using that to kind of soothe it, um, and that helped a lot too. AM facial moisturizer, it's got SPF 30, so that's a good one. Um, and then I also, I don't know where I put it, oh. I also use the Pixi Sun Spray um, as like a topper after I'm done with my makeup. This is like, this sits perfectly fine over my makeup. If anything, it makes me a little shiny, but like I don't really mind that, in case you couldn't tell. Um, and this is just like um, a physical sunscreen that just kind of goes on. I have to, I feel like I spray this like a lot over my face um, just because the mist is super fine. I don't know if it's getting all of my face. So I wouldn't trust this on its own. I usually just use it to kind of top off um, if I'm like doing something during the day. If I'm at night, like I'm not gonna use that stuff, but you know, it's for another day. For removing my makeup, I no longer am just relying on like a face wash or something like that, or even like an oil cleanser and a face wash. What I do, I guess it's an oil cleanser too. Um, I use just coconut oil um, and just remove my makeup that way. And then I will follow it with the CeraVe <laughs> um, foaming facial cleanser. Um, this one is like a little bit more, it's, it actually foams up. Like I feel like this is more effective to remove oil than the hydrating one. I, listen, I, I use everything CeraVe right now, but the hydrating one I use in the morning usually after, so like the morning after I've been using the um, Differin, I'll use this guy and just go with my SPF. So there's like, it's a lot of steps. Actually not really, this is like a lot less steps than what I used to do. Let me just kind of zoom in though, like, this is really like the only active one that I have right now. If you don't like seeing acne also, I'm sorry, I don't know why you're watching this, but yeah, that's the only one I have really right now, and like this is like 
one that was about to form and I guess it's like it's it's not coming to a head so I think it's good um, my forehead doesn't really break out at all anymore and I, I do apply it on my forehead as well um, my nose has been like really clear I mean obviously I have pores but like it's nothing crazy um, yeah like I have like little things that look like they're about to happen but then they like don't so I'm not mad about that this is the best that my skin has looked in so long like it's crazy. If you have been, like me, trying every single product under the face of the earth, definitely try using different and try using it like after your moisturizer. I cannot stress that enough. I think I will continue to see results. I'll maybe do an update if I change anything and if I see improvement um, eventually, but as for right now, I feel like this is looking delightful. Um, my skin is like Literally, I, I'm sorry. I'm like repeating myself so much. But it's the best it's ever been in my life At least like since I had like acne. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Hey guys So I'm editing this video right now and now I have no makeup on absolutely no makeup on um, But here's the thing I completely forgot to mention the purge period that I had with my skin um, And I think that's actually a really important thing to mention so um, probably about the first week to two and a half weeks I want to say my skin was really breaking out and it definitely was because um different was bringing up like all of like the acne underneath like to the surface um so just be really prepared for that um and it honestly is really hard to deal with and especially if you're not moisturizing your skin it's gonna be even more difficult just do your best to not pick at your face because I did that for like one or two of them and it honestly made it so much worse um especially if you're applying like a retinoid to your face every single day like just just don't do that um resist as much as you can i know it's so tempting although we don't want to admit it just know that the purge period it lasts i don't know i heard for some people can last up to a month i don't know the numbers i don't know um just try it out for yourself but again just kind of stick through it luckily at the time i was recovering from my surgery so i didn't have to really see anybody um so I kind of got that out of my system without having to like deal with putting on makeup. But if you're somebody like me who wears a lot of makeup, just be aware of that and maybe just try to figure out um, what products would work on like kind of flakier skin or skin with like very textured breakouts. Um, I honestly can't recommend much because I already have very dry skin. So for me, what works is maybe like using a sheet mask and like really moisturizing my face and then doing my makeup. But even then, sometimes it can still look kind of crusty. So just be aware of that really thought it was important and I don't know why I forgot to mention that because if you have that purge period you can sometimes become like kind of let down um thinking this is going to change overnight it doesn't you definitely do get like worse before it gets better at least in my experience all right that's all back to the video if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below I would love to answer them please do not leave your crazy acne advice I don't want to hear it <laughs> Um, unless, unless you know any uh, cruelty-free versions of CeraVe that are out there, I am listening. I desperately am looking for something. Um, or if you know of like a good cruelty-free SPF um, moisturizer that I can use during the daytime, that would be fantastic. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, you already know how to do this. It's YouTube. What more is there to say? Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.